Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about lip liners. I think that lip liners are very underrated. I see a lot of launches like foundations, lipsticks, lip glosses, but no one really gives a lot of importance to lip liners. So this video is dedicated for this product only. Now let's get into it. Let me tell you why I think you should use a lip liner and what exactly a lip liner does. Did it ever happen to you to put on a lipstick, like a very creamy uh, lipstick, and then two hours later or one hour later to have it spread all around your mouth to look kind of weird. I know that feeling very well, especially if you have that type of lip that is not very defined, lipstick tends to migrate a lot outside the natural contour of your lips. That's where lip liner comes handy because has a more waxy consistency than any other lipstick. So it creates like a barrier around your lips so that whatever lipstick you're going to apply, it's not going to migrate. So that's number one reason why you should use a lip liner in your beauty routine. Let's just say that naturally you have one of your lips a little bit bigger than the other one. There are a lot of women that have either the lower lip or the upper lip, a little bit smaller. Now, if you would like to balance that, you could do that with a pencil. A third reason why I think you should use a lip liner is because it defines your lip and it helps you put on lipstick much easier. And I'm going to demonstrate here uh, what a difference lip liner can make. The same lipstick, but then I just added the lip liner. Here's the difference with and without the lip liner. A lot of us are actually losing the definition of the lips with age. And it's absolutely incredible how much lip liner can change the whole look of your mouth. Now, I want to tell you that not every single lipstick needs lip liner. With the matte formulas, and especially like liquid matte formulas, you don't actually need a pencil. But it does help you to create, for example, a gradient in on your lips. Now, let's talk about application and what is the right way to apply your lip definer. First of all, you need to sharpen your lip definer or your lip liner. And then it doesn't really matter where you start, if you wanna start with your upper lip, if you wanna start with your bottom lip, that's it's not necessarily very important. What's important is the movement. Like if you're going to just do this, that is like against the purpose of using a lip definer. You have two options. You either sort of sort of spread the lip so that you could get in between those tiny fine lines because we do have very fine lines around our lip or you do the back and forth motion and this is going to guarantee that you have that barrier that's going to protect your lipstick from migrating. This is the back and forth movement. I usually rest my pinky on the chin so that I can have control. I like a lip liner that whenever you do like two, three, four swipes on the same place, it doesn't build up. There are lip liners that do build up and they get very weird texture. I'm going to talk about my favorite lip liners in a second. On the Cupid's bow, it, it's really up to you. Each lip is different. On me, I like to slightly overline my upper lip, but only on the Cupid's bow. My left side is different than my right side, which is not unnormal. It's just the way it is. Then from the corner of my mouth, I connect it to the Cupid's bow. And again, you see this movement where I just rest my finger on the chin. If you're gonna do this, 
when doing your live liner, that's not going to help you. So you need to be like relaxed, have your lips as relaxed as you can. So now, for example, I could apply a lip gloss without having this fear that I'm going to have it all over my face. I'll be using this Lila B. This is in the color B Brilliant. Et voila, this is how you apply a lip liner. I've only uh, showed you neutral lip liners, but I want to talk about the importance of using a lip liner when you are wearing a red lipstick, especially if you are looking to wear a more satin finish or a very hydrating red lipstick. It's mandatory to apply a lip liner. I have here a lipstick from Rodine and I'm going to use uh, their lip liner. When it comes to the upper lip, the tip, it's, if it's very well sharpened, it's going to help me so much. And you want to keep it almost like flat. If you do it like this, it's going to be harder. But if you keep it like this, it's going to help you get that really, really defined lip. I always like to fill in the corners because sometimes, you know, the lipstick can migrate in here as well, especially there. So this is like a protection. Now that I have my contour so well defined, I can move on with the lipstick and I just, I could apply it so much easier. Like perfect application with just one swipe. It's really the lip definer, it's really the lip liner. That's what helps me so much. And here's how you get a perfect red lip application. All right, now let's talk about my favorite lip liners. I have a few that I like. They're not new. I've been testing them for years, most of them. And I don't have like a first place, second place. I'll just choose them randomly. And I'm gonna start with the MAC. I've been loving MAC lip liners for so, so long. I love their texture. I love how they look. Um, the colors are just amazing. I would tell you immediately like three colors that I use the most. Stripped Down Oak and Baldly Bare, like my favorite neutral lip liners. And then I also like Ruby Woo Night Moth for like super dark lips. I have to say I do prefer lip liners that... I get to sharpen them myself. Although, uh, for example, Jouer has these retractable lip liners that have an amazing, amazing texture consistency. They're super long lasting. You could totally apply these all over the lips and uh, you, they last all day long. However, they're retractable, so the tip is never perfected it's never really really sharp although it does have a tiny little sharpener at the end of the pencil it will never be very very stiff also because it's more on the creamy side in comparison with lip liners that come in this type of form where you have to sharpen them these are a little bit more stiff i prefer these for for like a perfect contour of the lips. Another brand that I love for their lip liners is Nude Envy. They have two colors only, which I think is just perfect because one is more on the pink side, the other one is more brownish. I adore these lip liners. Victoria Beckham. When I heard the news about her makeup line, 
I I didn't even know exactly what it was. I was so sure she would have lip liners because you could tell that she is the type of person that loves a good lip liner. And I was so curious immediately to see what they're like and they're fantastic. I have to tell you, I used to have all of them, but some of my clients often asked me, what is this lip liner? Can I please buy it from you? I'm like, no, just obviously, just take it. You don't find Victoria Beckham everywhere. I know for sure it's for on Cult Beauty, but you have the links uh, in my description box where you can find these. They're absolutely amazing and the colors are beautiful, beautiful. I'm wearing uh, number one right now on my lips. Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury has amazing lip liners in terms of longevity and also colors. I love the colors for uh, her lip liners, especially Iconic Nude. It's a very beautiful, neutral, hard to find type of color for a lip liner. However, I found that when you do a lot of swipes. Remember when I was telling you at the beginning of the video that I don't really like when you do a few swipes on the lips and you could see the product building up uh, on your lip. It kind of feels like that with this lip liner. But if you do just one or two swipes, it's, it's perfectly fine. Just don't overdo it. I use the most iconic nude and obviously pillow talk. Last but not least, Bobbi Brown lip uh, definers or lip liners, uh, lip pencil, this is how they're called. I have them in my kit for so long. They are a staple, I guess. My two favorite colors from them are ballet pink and nude. They are great, such amazing colors. And again, they're the type of lip liners that you could just apply them on their own, use a little uh, lip balm of your choice it could be even Vaseline and you have a beautiful uh, lip color. All right guys this was it. I hope I have been able to give you all the information about one of my favorite products to use for the lips. If you have any questions or if I've missed something please let me know in the comments. You guys know I like to check out my comment section and answer all of your questions. In my description box, you will find all the details about the products that I was using along with details about my makeup and my jewelry and my top. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. This Bobby... No! I was too used a little bit. Alex! If I say lip liner one more time,